I've given myself a new writing goal, and I'm really going to have to reach for this one. I've given myself a goal to write a 66 mile segment of the Black Canyon Trail in a day. This one is gonna be tough. Those of you who've been following me for a while know that I've set goals to do some longer rides and a couple months ago I even did a 50 mile route uh, that was around the peaks. And when I finished that, I felt like I'm tired but I'm not sloppy or in pain or anything. I could, I could probably go for another 15 miles if I had to. Well. Even though this next goal is only 15 miles longer, it's it's just really different. Everyone who I've talked to who's done this route says it's a lot harder than what it looks on paper. It's generally going downhill, it looks like, um, when you look at what the elevation you start at and then you end down in kind of in the valley by Phoenix. And so there's a lot of general elevation loss, but there's a lot of up and down along the way. So it's just really, really demanding. One other thing that is really tricky about this is I've only got about three weeks to train for it. So my maintenance rides lately have only been about 20 miles. Um, but like I said, a couple months ago, I knocked out a 50 miler and felt pretty good, but I'm definitely gonna be amping things up over the next three weeks. There are a couple of reasons why I'm deciding to set this goal now. One is that with my new Ibis Ripley, I finally have a bike that'll be well suited to this. My hardtail um, could do it for sure, but I knew that it would be probably a little bit more fatiguing and it would be harder to get through a big long day like this. Um, and uh, then I've got the Ripma Way F, which obviously is a, a super gnarly, super beefy bike but it's it's more than I'd need for this and there would be a big weight penalty. Um, but with the Ripley, it seems like the right bike and uh, the right time because my husband and his friend Cody are going to be doing Black Canyon in a day and they're gonna do it on single speeds. So I'm gonna be riding with them. My parents are going to be in town so they will be able to um, resupply us with food and water at a couple of points and they'll also be able to uh, look after a little dusty so it just is kind of a golden opportunity even though this is going to be a little bit of a stretch I really want to go for it and I'm excited. I've talked to my husband and a few other friends who've done this route just to try and figure out what is it about this route that makes it feel more challenging than just any old 65 mile ride and there are a few things that I've started to pick up on that I think make the difference. One is that compared with my 50 mile route that I did a couple months ago, which was a mixture of single track and double track, the Black Canyon Trail is all single track. Um, so you're just on, you're just focused the whole time. Another thing that you notice when you look at the map as well as when you talk to people is that it's, it's fun because it's constantly got these swooping back and forth turns, which is great, but when you're doing a long day, sometimes it is nice when you have like a long stretch where you can just lock in and just head down and pedal straight. You can't really do that. You have to be focused and on all the time. It's also got a mixture of um, some sustained climbs, some sustained downhills, and a lot of intermittent back and forth of both. So you notice that when you look at the elevation profile, even though it's trending downward, it's like this <laughs> the whole way. So I think a lot of those are things that make it more challenging than what it looks like on paper. I'm gonna lose a little over 6,000 feet in elevation, but I'm also going to have a little over 3,000 feet of climbing, which isn't bad, but like I said, I think in, conjunction with the fact that you're just always having to focus and navigate through the winding trail, a lot of up and down. I, I'm guessing that all of those are just kind of things that are gonna to contribute to it, just feeling like a little bit of a longer day. Another thing that I have going against me is that it is winter and so the days are as short as they are gonna be. Um, because it gets so hot toward the end of this ride where it gets kind of close to Phoenix, it's not really something you'd want to be doing during a good chunk of the year. So winter is a great time to do it in terms of temperatures, but the days are really short. So I'm probably going to have to start with the sun and I'm probably going to be finishing with a headlamp. It's going to be tough. I'm just kind of realizing it's one of those days, kind of like when I've done some of my bigger bike packing trips where you just 
go into it with the mindset that I'm going to have to stay moving pretty much all day. And when I stop for a lunch break, it's probably going to be like a 10 minute lunch and then I got to get back on and go. It's not the kind of thing where I can be taking lots of long breaks. I've just got to stay moving as much as possible. And so a lot of times that just means kind of locking into a little bit of a slower pace, but something that I know that I can hold all day. So I won't be going fast, but um, going at a pace that I know I can keep going. It's going to be challenging for me as well because... Steve and our friend Cody are going to be on single speeds, which means they can't just sit back and kind of grind up the climbs like I can when I've got all these climbing gears. They're going to be standing up and sprinting most of the climbs, and so I'm going to be on my own for a lot of it. I really hope I haven't bitten off more than I can chew because I know that this is a challenging route. I mean, everybody says that you look at it on the MTB project and you're like, oh, that's not so bad, but... Um, Everyone who's done it just says it's way harder than you think. So wish me luck. I want to thank you so much for watching and I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the bell icon so that you get alerts for new uploads. You can also support this channel by liking my videos as that will make it easier for other people to find my content as well. If you want to do a little more to support the channel, consider becoming a patron with a monthly pledge. And you could also visit the Dusty Betty shop where I've got things like t-shirts, gear bags, changing ponchos, socks, and a whole bunch more. So check out the link that I'll include below. I'd love to hear from you guys if any of you have experience training for these kinds of endurance things. I've only got three weeks ago, so I've got to make the most of my time. And uh, I also want to know if you have or have had any goals like this that were ones that you knew you were really going to have to stretch for. Thanks so much for watching. I could use your encouragement, and uh, I wish you all luck in your goals and endeavors. Get dusty!